Hey guys, welcome back to another training video. So in this video, I'm going to go quickly through a kiss setup um, on GBP CAD. I'm currently live in the New York session and I'm actually in this trade. So you can see we started out on the daily time frame and you can see that I have my chart marked up. Now with this particular strategy, it is a market structure strategy. You can use it for scalping and intraday. But for those of you who are using it, I felt that this would be a really good trade to point out to you. Um, I always tell you to follow the market structure. And as you can see here, Previously, we had an uptrend that was forming. So you can see this right here. And you can see right where I have this sell zone that this is where this previous structure was broken. So you can see we had an uptrend. We had this huge spike here. But you can see that this was previous strong support several times. And finally, the market was strong enough. The sellers uh, broke through that and sellers gained control and pushed that price down. So now that the price has reversed to the opposite direction, now we follow the market structure in the opposite direction. You can see that we had this waterfall here into support. So we mark this as our daily support. And then we had a push back up into previous resistance. So previous support became future resistance. And so now we're looking at this as a future, I mean, I'm sorry, as a potential sell opportunity. So now I'm going to jot, I'm going to move down to my four hour time frame. And now you can see on the four hour what I have here. So I have a downtrend on the four hour price broke out to the upside and it's approaching my sell zone. So when I tell you guys wait and let price come to you, this is exactly what we're doing. And the more you're prepared ahead of time, then you'll know how to execute. So now that price is in my sell zone, what do I do? Well, looking at this, I know that in order for my rules to be valid, this trend has to stay intact. Now, what can happen? look at how price is reacting in the zone so this is what you want to pay attention to but you see all these wicks here you know that price could come and retest anywhere within this zone because this is all a reversal zone so this is where you want to use your position sizing very wisely whether if you're going to do scalping or intraday i'm actually on a four hour chart so i'm actually scalping and i'm going to hold a position for an intraday opportunity so you can see here that price is within our zone and let's drill down to the one hour and look at what's going on so now you can see on the one hour Price is pushing up into our zone. You can see more clearly what's happening. And now let's combine our indicators. So this is your five minute. Every time price is approaching a structure level, this is what you're going to see. And let me go ahead and just remove some of this for you so that it's not too crowded. So on the five minute, you can see that, I'm sorry, let me move to the five minute. You can see on the five minute, this is your confirmation right here. So I'm going to go ahead and take a screenshot since I'm in this trade because one thing that I always uh, emphasize is that you need to be journaling your outcomes because this is going to help you discover if you have an edge in the market. It will let you know many things about your execution. Are you needing to improve your entry or maybe this pair works really well for you during the time that you trade? These are all things that you want to document. So I'm going to take a picture of my five minute. I'm going to also take a, a picture of my 15 minute. And this is beautiful. Look at this wick rejection off of my cell zone. This meets my RSI criteria and everything in the training manual that we point out. So I'm going to take a screenshot of this. I'm going to add it to my trading journal. And now on the naked chart, look at that beautiful wick rejection off of that one hour time frame. Okay. Look at the four hour and I'm actually in profit. All right. So let me show you now with my trading journal, I'm simply going to, you can see here, I started it. So at 550, about nine minutes ago, I entered GBP CAD. I'm currently in profit. My lot size that I'm using is a dollar. My entry price is 1.71. 50. Okay. My stop loss is currently open because I'm actually scalping. I'm, I have an emergency stop loss and, but I'm planning to probably only hold one of these positions. So I'm just trying to get into as many positions as I can not get into as many positions. I'm trying to journal as much as I can, but also the trade is in profit. So I am most importantly, I am making sure that I note everything that I see. So once I kind of get this in here, one thing that I always go and do is just make sure that I have an emergency stop loss. So based on my account, I'm trading a pretty large account. So when I have a large account, I don't really have to worry about anything 
uh, ruining my account because I'm using such small lot sizes for my type of balance. So usually what I do is I try to quickly get into the trade because as you can see, this moves really fast, especially when you're scalping. So sometimes I have time to put in a stop loss and sometimes I don't. But what I do is I go and I look at what the trade is doing. So based off this wick rejection and my entry price was 71.50. 71.50 about right here so i'm just going to drop my stop somewhere above now gvp pairs wick very aggressively but on my scalps i'm just going to add an emergency stop loss of about 71.65 i feel like that's enough and i feel like this is going to keep dropping so i'm going to go and just put my stop loss 71.65 just in case anything um, happens and price goes the opposite way i'm protecting my capital and then I'll go ahead and show you. I don't have a take profit in here because everything is moving so fast. And I'm probably going to close out and profit on two of my positions very shortly. But as the price keeps dropping, you want to make sure that you are journaling your outcomes. And then I'll show you really quickly uh, my MT4 and you can see the progression of the trade. So let's do that really quick. And then um, I will show you. In the meantime, while you're waiting, I want you to go ahead and smash that like button for me and also let me know if you have any questions in the comments and I'm going to just point out to you exactly what I'm doing right now. So this is my MT4. You can see that I have four positions on GBPCAD. I've entered a stop loss, the same stop on all of them because I'm scalping. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to close one of them and I'm actually going to close two of them and take profit. Let me let that go up just a little bit more. Um, so you can see it's probably pulling back right now. So when the price pulls back, so this these are my results for today. So I am using the KISS 2.0 strategy, and these are scalps that I've placed this morning since I started trading with the New York session, okay? So what I do is I take my lot size and I also calculate my risk and I make sure that I'm never risking more than 2% of my total account balance at one time. I don't risk 2% per trade or 3% per trade. I trade very responsibly only utilizing 2% of my account. And this keeps me from trading stressed out. I'm not stressed when I trade. And all I'm doing is I'm simply following my risk rules. If I do that, then I tend to come out profitable. When I don't follow that, then I usually end up with losses. Or what I find is that if I follow my risk rules, I'm closing very small losses because maybe I got in at a better entry with a higher lot size. And so your risk management is everything. But let's go ahead and go back to the charts and I'll continue to show you the progression. And also I want to highlight that you can get the training manual. Now we created a 65 page training manual. You can also see the testimonials of, that have been added. We have tons of testimonials on our Instagram, pretty much everywhere in our Telegram. This is an amazing strategy that can help you yield at least 50 to 300 on average and even more if it all depends on your risk tolerance. But this is an amazing strategy. If you are looking at this on our website right now, the price could have changed. We do a lot of different offerings. We just created a Discord group um, that where you buy the actual strategy. Um, some of our students are added into the Discord group, and that was with a course that we offered yesterday. So we're thinking about changing this, and it's going to be an increased price. So by the time you see this, currently this manual does not come with a Discord group, but we know that community is everything. So we're thinking about adding that. So if you come here and the price is different, don't be alarmed. I'm just giving you a heads up because we're constantly making improvements to benefit our students. All right. And information on our academy is in the description of this video if you're interested. But you can see here on the four hour. I'm simply just being patient. I still have two positions running. And here is your KISS indicator. So now you can see that on this five minute, this is your confluence. So when I say confluence, this is multiple confirmations of why we took this trade. This just gives us some multiple confirmation. You can see on the 15 minute, it mirrors your five minute. All right. So how do you know where to take profit? So when you are looking at this, we trade zone to zone from one reversal zone to the next reversal zone. And it just depends on how long you want to hold the trade. If you are scalping, you always look left. So if we get into this trade and we look left and see where was where is the nearest uh, support zone where's the next support zone so the next nearest major support I would say is probably around right here so let's see how many pips is that 
from our current entry. So about 20 pips. So I'm confident we could get about 20 pips on this trade. It just depends on how long you want to hold it. Now, again, if you wanted to hold this as an intraday, then you definitely could go for about 40, I would say 40 to 60 pips on an intraday strategy is good for GBP pairs. But you basically want to pay attention from zone to zone. That's how you want to trade. All right. And you can all also judge off of the previous candle. So look in the previous four hours. This is how much this candle moved right here. So you could even take profit at halfway of this candle if you wanted to, if you were simply just scalping. But this should be more than enough. So I hope this analysis helps you. Again, smash that like button for me. Go ahead and make sure that you subscribe to our channel so that you can get this content in the future. And I look forward to seeing you guys in another training. Thank you. I'm